a mother you have not seen since you were an infant. And who's doing was that? How much pressure from you did my uncle endure? You are an adult now, and the King of Scotland. Surely you can make your own choices. Why have you not gone to her? For the same reason you have avoided meeting her your entire life. Because we both have what is rightfully hers. My crown and yours. It is she who should be uniting our nations. James, she can't. Her choices have ruined her. I often wonder what choice did she have. They say my father was mad. She must have been desperate. Desperate enough to come to you for help, and what did you do? Held her prisoner for two decades after promising to protect her. When I made that offer, I did not know she would be fleeing a murder charge. I did not know she would continue to conspire against me. Men have conspired against you, using her as a weapon. These letters you finally have as evidence, evidence enough to execute her, could be forged. Then petition me to stop it. The real forgery is you. Pretending to be brave, Elizabeth, the warrior queen who ushered in the golden age, when really, all the while, you've been living in fear. Must be exhausting. It is. Is that why you need the final choice to be mine? Because you know you are giving in to weariness? Or is it because you know it's wrong? I ask you one last time. Do you want to be named my heir, James, the first of your name to rule England and Scotland, united at last, ending the bloodshed between our two countries and fulfilling your mother's dream? Or you could save her, but she will rot for decades more in captivity because I cannot have her blood on my hands. And I cannot let her go.